It'll be okay. I think that uh, nudity is a pretty hard subject because on one hand, it's just skin. It's just, you, you can see my arms, they're, they're arms. And um, so, on the one hand, why is seeing my legs or something any different, you know, or seeing other body parts, especially since um, men can show a lot more skin than women, so you gotta say, well, what's the difference? Come on. But on the other hand, um, that's not the world we live in, obviously. Some people do, people do judge based on how you look, what you're wearing, how much you're wearing and stuff. That's, that's the way of the world at the moment, you know, in most places. Um, people think that modesty is related to what you're wearing or can judge you badly on what you're wearing and or not wearing or whatever and stuff like that and people think things. But on the other hand from there, why do those people matter? It's not that I want to be naked or anything. I don't I, I don't like I don't like sleeping naked or anything, I don't think, because it's it's vulnerable and exposing, I think. I guess I think that women should have the right, or people should have the right. People should have the right to be comfortable with what they want to be comfortable with. It's, if it's not hurt, it's not hurting anyone, you know? I think there's an argument for saying that um, nudity is only vulnerable and exposing and self-conscious because of the way that people react to nudity. I mean, uh, I have a cat and the cat isn't walking around trying to cover itself up all the time. <laughs> it has no concept that it should feel any sort of self-consciousness over the way it looks. I had a teacher once called Steve and um, paraphrasing here I think but he said he once he got up in front of the class and he said um, that when he was younger he cared who had photos of him, who took photos, who was allowed to take photos outside, he cared about that sort of stuff. Um, but then when he got older he started to think, why does it matter? Like, um, he said if someone wants to jump out of a bush and take a picture of him walking down the street to the shops and that makes them happy to have that photo, then he's okay with them having it, it's just a photo. I was watching a video on YouTube recently and um, in this video there was two people. There was um, a man who, who... There was a man who, and it was his channel, right? And um, he also had his partner with him and he mentioned quite casually that his um, partner had cleavage. In fact he just said that word and um, he didn't say, oh that's shocking, you have cleavage, we're on the internet in front of hundreds of people, put on a coat or something, no, no, all he did was casually mention that his wife had cleavage, or a partner, I don't know if they're married, it doesn't matter, anyway, Anyway, so he casually mentioned his wife's appearance in relation to her breasts, but not in like a negative way or something. I guess it's like, uh, it's like bragging. It's like saying, this is my partner, she's, uh, she's hot. Can't touch this. It's totally mine. Even if her appearance included whatever amount of skin, he didn't judge her based on that, he didn't like view her badly because of that. In fact, he probably viewed her in a good way because of it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay.
It's like saying, yeah, I've got a good partner, which is them, and they're mine, I guess. Look what you've not got. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm just saying words. I'm just saying it's good. It's good. It's good. Didn't, didn't judge her badly based on it. He just likes her anyway. Either way. I don't anyway. Either way. However, how she is. In a way, I feel like um, a guy should, or anyone really, uh, should feel um, honoured to see their partner or touch their partner. You know, to be granted that level of intimacy with your partner. You should feel good about that. If it was just a regular occurrence to see people and stuff, would you still feel feel like that, I guess? Maybe it depends the person. Um, yeah, I guess it depends the person. At the moment, I'm a, I'm a virgin, and um, if I had a partner uh, soon and um, he got to that stage, he would, he would be. Um, not only the only person to have touched me in such manner, but he'd also be the only person to have seen me fully naked. And that's um, that's a pretty odd concept. I don't know what it means. Does that make does that make it special or what? I don't I don't know. I don't, even if you have ten partners and then the last one is the one you stay with for ages and that's special, that relationship would still be special, regardless of whether they were the only person ever to have seen you or not. Maybe that's just how it is. If um, loads of people see you and stuff, it doesn't matter because what matters is whether or not you can obtain that special, proper relationship that you want, if you want that. That's what matters, I guess. It matters whether or not you can achieve the thing you want. I guess it's really nice to think about love and someone support you and you'd support them like mutually and uh, being there for each other and making each other happier I'd probably make it sound like a fairy tale or something like Prince Charming's gonna come in and swoop me up or something we can see it makes me wish I had a partner. As far as I can gather, it's um, it's it's okay, it's acceptable for a man to be topless. Um, he could be topless at a swimming pool, topless playing football, topless just on a hot day. He can do that, but it's unacceptable for a woman to be topless. You can't do that. Why? Because that's not the way things are. Why does it have to be so difficult being comfortable with who you are? I love I love all of me, even even the parts that could potentially but are not currently being used for milking. I think it's possible that modesty is in the mind, um it's like it's like a way you act. It seems like uh, when people think about the idea of women going topless, they say like modesty or you know sexual attraction. You got to think about these principles. But isn't that what guys do? Isn't that 
do guys, yeah, guys do that sometimes. I don't think all women would be, yeah, probably the same levels would happen of guys doing it to women doing that, I think, if it was allowed for either gender. I think if you type in man topless into Google Images, you're not going to, like, is he selling a phone around his neck or something? I don't know. But, you know, you're going to get these sorts of images. Are you telling me that men are modest and using their ability to go topless in a non-sexual, modest way? It's, it's just a double standard, isn't it, really? You're saying women have to be modest and never sexual, but men, then it's okay. So someone said, um, if someone came up to you and asked you to take your top off, would you do it? And I thought about it and I thought, no, I wouldn't do that. Um, but then I thought about it again today. And I was thinking, well, if someone came up and said they wanted to see my feet, my toes or something, I'd think that was odd too. And I probably wouldn't do that. You know, if someone just comes up to you and asks to see a body part or touch you or whatever, that's just weird. I wouldn't... It'd be an odd situation, whatever body part it was. I want... I want future me to know that I stand by whatever decision she makes.